To remain a high-trust society, we've got to get our politics right. Because only then will our system deliver results for Singaporeans, and that will give Singaporeans good reason to trust the government and trust one another. Politics is about people's lives and futures, and it carries on even during a pandemic. We have to continue addressing people's concerns and striving towards our aspiration of a fair and inclusive society, where every Singaporean has the opportunity to seek a better life for themselves and their children, where every citizen is accepted and valued, no matter what his background or station in life. And that's why, even as we tackle COVID-19, we have pressed on with important goals. We are improving social mobility, bringing every kid to a good starting point in life with Kid Start, Uplift, and many other programs, opening more pathways for people to improve and upgrade themselves and renew their skills with Skills Future. At the same time, we are redoubling efforts to strengthen social cohesion and prevent divisive issues from splitting us. We are fostering stronger race relations and tackling racial discrimination. We are empowering women's development and improving their standing in society. We are acknowledging and dealing with tensions between Singaporeans and migrant workers, work pass holders. We are ensuring fair opportunities at workplaces with anti-discrimination legislation. These are long-term endeavours and results will take time, but we are moving in the right direction and we are making progress. And yet, having good policies alone is not enough. We must help people appreciate how these policies make a difference in their lives. We must, people, we must inspire people with the ideals and the values behind these policies. We must mobilize everyone in order to realize our common vision for Singapore. And we have to help Singaporeans to make that political connection. All these good things, social mobility, better jobs and better lives, they don't happen just by themselves. In many countries, they don't happen at all. If you want to continue to get good results in Singapore, we've got to get our politics right. You have to support the PAP government, and we must work together to build a nation that we aspire towards. All this means the PAP must remain politically on top. A new generation of voters want to see more debate, more contestation, more questioning of established ideas. They want their voices heard, as you heard from Comrade Nadia Samdin just now. And it is understandable, and the PAP must respond to this. Show Singaporeans we are not afraid of opposing views or of being challenged. We encourage healthy discourse. We welcome good ideas, wherever they may come from. And just as importantly, we listen carefully to the opinions and concerns of Singaporeans. And that's why this year we've been holding conversations on women's developments. That's why the Emerging Stronger Task Force has been working hard with different groups, setting up alliances for action, many. That's why this year we made the decision to allow nurses in public hospitals to wear the tudong. After extensive consultations and careful deliberations stretching over many years, we listen, we consider, we make up our minds, taking everybody's views into account, and we try and hold everyone together as we move ahead. Our aim is to bring people together, understand the problems, and stay connected in order to co-create the right solutions 
to co-build tomorrow's Singapore. At the same time, political discourse is not just a matter of accepting or marketing good ideas. We also have to rebut wrong views, if possible, gently, but when necessary, firmly. And we have to expose those who, for their own reasons and political purposes, try to exploit issues to confuse people and to make them unhappy. That was the spirit of the recent debates in Parliament on the seeker and the work pass holders, to explain our policies, to make things clear, to get people to make the connection and understand how these policies benefit Singapore, actually benefit Singaporean workers. But at the same time, to demolish the people who are trying to exploit these issues for political advantage, so that Singaporeans are not misled, not made use of, not led in the wrong direction, which will do them harm. I tell my younger colleagues, in politics, if you are not able to hold your own, stand up, argue your case, and retain the support of voters, you are finished. You may have noble intentions and good ideas, but if you can't get re-elected, you can't do anything about them, and you won't be able to do good for Singapore. Finally, on politics, I would add one more important point. The reason why politics has delivered results for Singaporeans depends on one critical factor, our emphasis on integrity and honesty. If politicians are venal or dishonest, you tell lies or you're corrupt, you take money, Politicians cannot be trusted. Voters will not trust your motives, cannot take what you say at face value. People will become disillusioned and cynical, and they will lose faith, not just from individual leaders or political parties, but from the political system in the whole, as a whole, from the political class as a whole. They despair of the system. They give up hope on their country. The country is in a bad state. You cannot recover, and trust is forever destroyed. There are too many examples of this happening far away from us, as well as nearby to us. And we must never, never, never let that happen to Singapore. In Singapore, People expect MPs and political leaders to be clean, to be above reproach in their personal conduct, to be scrupulously truthful in what they say, inside Parliament or outside Parliament. The PAP has upheld these stringent standards ever since it came into power more than 60 years ago in 1959. All our ministers, MPs and activists know this. If someone misbehaves, misspeaks, we will discipline him. If someone misspeaks, he will put it right. Because he knows that's the right thing to do, and the party will insist on it. The PAP's rigour sets the tone for Singapore politics. And voters have to apply these same standards of integrity and honesty to every group and every person who participates in politics and public life, whichever side he may be on. Because otherwise, we are signaling that we are prepared to lower standards, and this will eventually drag our system down. <laughs>